Welcome back to the Aspen Shed again. And we've got another little kit to have a play with. Put it in the bag. That's the case for it. And I don't know if you can see what that is. It's a LCD clock and it's green. So we'll have a play putting that together. See what sort of mess we can make of it. That's one of those um, Perspex cases that will have to be assembled. The worst thing about them is getting all the brown sticky tape off. And just to diverge into something else for a second, one of the things I'm playing with at the minute, or getting back into use, is my uh, small Chinese CNC engraving machine. It was my first venture into CNC and uh, I'll show it you. I'll have to move the camera and excuse the mess. Just have to disconnect the remote control, flick up the flicky bit at the back. Oh dear. I haven't flicked it up, flick it up, sorry, steady, go as steady as I can, bring this round, you can see we have got a lot of mess all around the place at the minute, anyway, this is what we're talking about, back up a bit, no oh, it's fully back, we can't go any further back in that, so we can't get it all into shot in one go. Oh, back up. Right, there it is. It's in a bit of a mess at the minute. We've got a uh, control box here and the machine here. Now, what I'm going to attempt to do is put a laser on it. Because uh, I want to explore both methods of uh, cutting a PCB. A with a, a cutter and B with a laser. So that's a little project. I'm going to have this for the winter and I'll have a play around with it. I've ordered a 5.5 watt, is it, uh, laser, blue laser from China. And I'll have to get that mounted and play about with it. That's going to be a bit of a project. I managed to clear enough bench to get it on. And as I come round, you can see I'm fully stocked up with 3D printers, all sorts of other bits and pieces. Uh, for sharp, a bench grinder for sharp, maybe, um, tool steel, lathe tools, uh, and Chinese drilling machine, color drill. Not one of the best Chinese efforts that. Uh, there's me uh, CNC mill that I converted. Uh, there's me Artec uh, TIG welder. And there's me Chester lathe. And also I've got a Chester bandsaw down there. And then we come around, still coming around, we've got all the uh, soldering irons and the electronic bits and pieces, hot air machine, three soldering irons as you do, uh, signal generator and oscilloscope. And that brings us all the way back to the computer and the power supply and 
on a few other bits and pieces. Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, LCD clock. Uh, I'll just uh, switch this off for a second and put it back on its stand. Uh, I suppose the first thing to do is uh, unpack this. So. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, we'll put the box on one side and we'll cut open this package without doing any damage. Yeah, you've got to cut it open, it's not going to come open any other way. And yet another USB lead. Right, well in there we've got uh, four nice uh, LED segmented displays and a big chip and a little chip. A um, big chip is a STC 15F20 204 FA, FA I think it says or EA and the little chip is a DS1302 to know what they are I'd have to look them up suffice it to say they're chips USB lead and a bag of bits now that seems to be a screen a filter for some reason and in here we have resistors and all the usuals I don't know what that big thing there, it looks like a relay but it can't be a relay surely right uh, oh. Oh. There's the PCB, so it's a double sided, is it, double sided, yeah it's a double sided PCB so we'll have to be careful with that, uh, and all my viewers uh, must have realised by now that at last Aspin has found the way of uh, rotating the display from the camera. <laughs> it's only taken five years. Um, I did look at the camera and on all its menus and I couldn't find anything on the camera for rotating, flipping or doing anything with the display. So for the last 12 months I've been taking pictures uh, like this. Oh, well, I'm taking them like this now, but in the software of my editing suite, eventually I found uh, a place where you can rotate and flip and do all sorts of things to display. So now I can make it so it looks like you're looking over my shoulder rather than everything being in reverse. Five relay wiring instructions. So there is a relay. Hey, eh? there. No. Is it? Right. Where do we start? At the beginning. Oh, it says K1 a relay. What do you need a relay for? We've never had readable instructions before. 
Unfortunately, I can't read. So, let's break out the resistors. A relay, eh? Can't think of building any of these other kits that have got a relay in it. Oh, look, commos battery as well. Even that's included. That's good, isn't it? For them to give you the commos battery. So, put the rubbish in the rubbish. Oh, out, bang my head. And yes, that is a relay. Mmm, that's unusual for me anyway. Power, speaker, buttons, crystal, don't lose the crystal. So, oh, we've got a thermistor as well. I don't know, oh, I must display the temperature. So we've got a thermistor, oh we've got a light sensitive uh, resistor, what do you call them, what's the proper name for them, photo resistor, yeah that's it, we've got one of them, as before mentioned crystal, we've only got uh, two Ceramics. Oh, we have got a couple of um, got this something coated um, capacitors. Uh, relay screen. We have. Oh, ah, we have uh, two, three. Four, five, six transistors, but they could be other. What are they? Poop, 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 poop. Oh, capacitor, emitter, photoresistor, battery, push button, power socket, connecting port. Doesn't mention them. Two components list. Oh, and we are on the other side. What have we got here? Uh, one, two, three, four. Dynatron S8550. Are they PNPs or NPNs? We well, shall soon find out with this magic tool. And the magic tool says S, what was it? 8550. 8550. And it is a PNP. Phew. Positive, negative, positive. Right, so that's what it is. It's a PNP. Right, so we'll start with our usual place. Resistors, we've got a few resistors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one resistors to put in. So that's where we'll start. Um, it's tea time. I'm gonna have my tea now. Uh, sod you lot, I'm just going to go and have me tea. So that's the start, we've opened it up. We've had a look what we've got. Uh, 
Oh, it's got a list of what resistors out there are. Ah, the, qu the quantity is uh, 22. Actual quantity used, it says, is 18. So, i are giving you a couple of spares. I forgot to mention on the last thing I built, what was it? Oh, that little, uh, uh, on that uh, little transmitter kit for two pounds. Bloody hell, two pounds, you can't, you know, it's ridiculous. Anyway, what I was going to say was, uh, the quantities were absolutely spot on. There was nothing missing. So somebody laboriously is putting these kits together and counting all the resistors and capacitors, making sure that the quantities and the uh, resistances and capacitors consistencies are all correct. And they didn't make a mistake with that one. Every piece was there to the last. Every piece fitted perfectly. So, I'm going to go and have my tea and then I'll come back and start playing LCD clocks. See you soon. I'm just going to start populating the resistors first. So that's the first of them, and I'll carry on and get all the others in. I haven't soldered anything yet, but uh, that'll come a bit later. I've got, I've got all the resistors positioned, I'm now just going to tack them and solder them in. So it won't be too long, and the first part will be done, all the resistors are in. Be back in a minute. And the last one. There's all the resistors. Quite neat and tidy. Right, we'll move on to. There's very few electronic components left. There's a crystal, photoresistor, thermistor, 
and four little. Uh, oh, I forgot there's a transistors as well, and the four transistors. Right, I'll uh, insert them, and I'll come back in another three quarter of an hour.